Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wokey, and I'm back with another Dragalia Lost video today. Going over the version update that should be coming out on 2.24.2021. Um, there's a lot of good stuff in here besides the things that we were all expecting, including some info on the upcoming boss, the new difficulty stuff. I guess the new boss, you know, the new version of Agito, anyway. That's what today's video is going to be. If you end up liking it, you can show your support by leaving a like. It helps the channel a whole bunch. You can comment and tell me about any of the stuff we talked about here today. And subscribe to me if you want some more videos featuring me. Uh, it's not all Dragalia, though. <laughs> Just as a prerequisite. <laughs> anyway, let's go. Version update. It will be available for download on 2.24.2021. You may install it when it becomes available, and it becomes automatic on 2.25. I believe there was some... I think, I think Brother Nero was talking about how he's having trouble downloading the most recent update because he's out of space. Dragalia is a huge game, so... Heart goes out to Brother Nero out there. Uh, when you update from version 2.5.1, that's the basic. It's basically saying you can't co-op with people with earlier versions of the game. Uh, to celebrate the update, tenfold summon voucher. Thank you very much. Always appreciated. Update details, new features, shape shifting, and autoplay. If both the autoplay and shape shift button are togged on, adventurers will automatically shape shift into their dragon form during quests as soon as they are able to do so. The shapeshift button can only be toggled on while autoplay is enabled and is also available when using auto repeat. Okay, so that makes sense. So <laughs> there's no way for you to just auto dragon whenever you want to. I don't know who would want to auto dragon, but not auto play. It's kind of weird to me. There's no like frame perfect thing of the sec. I guess there technically is. If you wanted to get the second you got your dragon, just automatically enable it or something. Sure, sure. Uh, good feature. They should make a lot of people who are struggling with some Agitos should be able to automatically just be able to do them much easier now. Obviously, not all of them, but there's certainly some Agito fights. Um, where it would just be way easier if you could just tell your person to um, shapeshift. And also, if you have Galamim, this 100% boosts her a whole bunch. Because the one thing about using uh, Galamim in auto is that she doesn't go dragon. She's still really good without the dragon, but she's obviously tailored about going dragon. And she has she's extremely strong when going dragon. Um, new feature, equipment sets. When editing a team, players can register individual equipment to determine which weapon, dragon, and worm print adventurer will equip. Once registered, a set can be applied to a particular adventurer to have them automatically equip the specified loadout. This is great. This is a great addition. So basically... Oh man. This is a good addition. There's nothing more to say here. This is just very good to have in general. I didn't even think about the fact that, like, oh, I thought it would just be, like, individual unit, but now you could just make a entire set for, like, um, specific weapons, because you know, like, oh, if I'm going to be using a sword, chances are I am going to be using the one that buffs sword damage by 40% skill damage. That's just a given. Um, so good. Very welcome. It's probably still needs to work on getting equipment better, but that's a very, very good first step. In terms of being able to find them and stuff. Um, new feature, team copy. Players can duplicate their team setups and overwrite existing setups and <laughs> with copied ones. I cannot believe it took us this long to get this feature. It's literally in almost... No, it's not in every game, because I was about to say, it's not in Dokkan. This is a very good feature, though. Glad to have it. I've been needing it a whole bunch. Um, new high difficulty quest, The Rise of the Sinister Dominion. A new series of high difficulty quest, Rise of the Sinister Dominion, arrives on 3-04-2021. At 22 military time, <laughs> at 22 o'clock, in certain difficulties of these quests, the player's current team will be swapped out mid-battle with another one, so they must prepare two teams of differing elemental attunements beforehand. Drop rewards include worm prints that can be equipped in new slots or weapons and the material required to unbind and add copies of these worm prints. Players must complete chapter 16, the main campaign in order to actually deal with this so um i was wondering how they were going to make these new high difficulty quests different from the other ones and let me tell you having <laughs> needing two sets two sets of elements for a boss battle is one way of doing it for sure it should hopefully come up with some pretty interesting i mean it sucks for a brand new player 
um because if you're brand new to the game and you're like yo i can barely get like one like one unit ready to go it makes me wonder how much co-op will affect this where in co-op you just need two very good units instead of eight in general though for someone like me i have two elemental teams of every nature basically ready everything but light because i haven't really bothered with that um agito fight all that much tartarus none because you can't auto it <laughs> without 100 <laughs> percent efficiency which is why i never bothered with it um hopefully that changes anyway very interested to see more about this i think this has potential to be very cool um and it has it raises a lot of questions about how it's gonna kind of affect things like if you lose a character during one part of the fight but then don't in the other part of the fight does that change anything like in terms of drop rewards does it turn into if you lose like you know what i'm talking about because the current conditions are if you lose one character then you get hit with a demerit but do they change that to now two characters i don't know kind of interested to see more but sounds cool so far update this also makes it sound like these are going to come out way less often if they're going to require two sets of elements that's how i feel it also kind of does go into the fact that people were already kind of using off element units to fight uh bosses but oh this might also make cheese harder now that i think about it hmm. a lot of interesting things that come with this one obviously people will find a way to cheese regardless but it kind of sounds like it'd be more difficult or you have to have more coordination Anyway, updated system worm prints. Uh, right when I was talking about worm prints, they're gonna. With the addition of the rise of the Sinister Dominion quest arriving on 3 4 2021 at 22 o'clock military time, special slots and weapons and worm prints that can only be equipped with these slots will become available. Depending on the weapon, up to two of these worm prints can be equipped, and the slots for them may be unlocked using material that dropped from the Rise of the Sister, Sinister, Sister Dominions. Sinister Dominion quest affinities for these new worm prints will count towards affinity bonuses in the same manner as those existing worm prints. So here you kind of see them right here. Interesting. Interesting, for sure. Worm prints that may be equipped in these slots are different for existing worm prints in that addition of holy water. What? In addition to holy water and con concentrated water, they can also be upgraded using special items that drop into places duplicated worm prints. These worm prints may be unbound and copies may be added with said special items, as well as materials that drop the rights of Sinister Dominion. However, they may not be unbound with silver keys or golden keys. Okay. They're kind of showing the material here. Man, to even upgrade the EXP? That's... Mm, I don't know how I feel about that, but okay, sure. New mechanic, Overdrive Counter. A new mechanic, the Overdrive Counter, will appear in Rise of Sinister Dominion quest when and only when an enemy in the Overdrive state attacks with a red action marker. Players can reduce that enemy's Overdrive gauge, mode gauge by an amount greater than normal if they use an attack skill to inflict damage. In other words, counter. We plan to- Wow! Okay interesting because that, that kind of does go into the fact of like well when they use a red skill just keep dodging that's all you really need to do but now maybe you can go ham and go for the counter or something it'd be interesting i like this i like this idea it's something you already kind of do because you can use a skill to avoid red damage but ever since the changes to dodge um you've been i've been doing that less and less because i can just dodge forever so that'd be cool uh the counter a counter system like that other changes the logic that determines how ai controlled adventurers dodge certain action markers will be adjusted hopefully that means my ai will stop killing themselves in front of volk the dragon gala reborn poseidon's abilities water fury of the seas and water fury of the seas 2 will be adjusted to also affect enemies with no elemental attunement okay the dragon reborn zephyr's ability wrath of the plains wind wrath of the plains 2 will be adjusted so that they can also affect enemies with no elemental okay sure oh, because these dragons are basically the same anyway may as well both do it at the same time adventures wielding rapid fire mana casters will be able to move while performing their four strikes big buff to leo uh as if leo wasn't already i don't know if, uh, how others feel about leo but i assume 
they place him high. I always assumed Galileo was an awesome... If it was not for Galamim, he would be easily second to, for me anyway. I just like the way he plays. Apparently, if if you use Galaxy correctly, she's better, but I'm not good. So I just like going pew 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 pew. <laughs> it's really easy. But the one thing that was kind of a bummer for Manica Rapid Fire Manicas is they don't move. Now this does kind of suck for Panther because she doesn't wield a, wield a mana caster, she wields a spear. So does that mean she's just gonna stay in place when she uses her force strike? I hope they would have the foresight to actually give it to her as well. And if they don't, then I will gladly send in something to say, hey, she technically has the rapid fire mana caster. Can you give her the ability to move during it? Thank you. Um, if autoplay is enabled and both skill hound shot and ace operator are available for the adventure formo Joachim to use, he will use Ace Operator first and Hound Shot directly afterwards. I don't really have him, so I don't know how that affects him. I know he's used, at least as far as the skill is goes, but I know he's good. That's what I'm trying to say. The appearance of certain objects in quests will be adjusted. Sure, the user interface will be adjusted in various places. Sounds good. Issues addressed while playing Tartarus is rough on standard, expert, or master difficulties. Wendy Adventurer. Dragon Yold Lily performs an upgraded force strike after being granted the Saint Starfall Lily effect. If the team member that is most in need of healing is in a portal zone, their HP may not be restored and their max H HP will not be increased. And certain normal endeavors for advanced dragon trials and the Agito Uprising are able to be completed despite their names appearing as question mark question mark question mark. And that's basically it. It may take some time for it to show up in your app store. Okay, cool. So th those are all the updates coming. This sounds like a pretty solid update to me. I'm liking basically everything here. It's going to be interesting to play with it. I've been wanting Auto Dragon for a while now. I'm glad that they're adding it. Um, the Worm Print stuff sounds really cool because now I can just sit down and make my sets and be happy. Name my sets whatever they want. Um, team Copy, great addition. Nothing more to say here. It's just great that they have it. Ever since they added a whole bunch of different team slots, I've been wanting it. Um, and the Worm Print update system, I'll have to wait and see what the Worm Print set you get from these bosses are. If it really is just skill damage plus... I mean, skill damage plus 20% is pretty damn good now that I think about it. Um, we'll have to wait and see what more they have, though. Because I'm wondering, like, if there's dragon stuff, would that be good with Mim? Like, what, what will be offered here that will make it seem like a good power boost compared to the Agita weapons. I, obviously, it's smart of them not to make new weapons, because let me tell you right now, making Agita weapons sucks ass. There's no... <laughs> the If it was not for auto, it would be perhaps one of the most annoying things in the entire game. And to some, it probably still is the most annoying thing in the game. But it's not too tough. Um mainly because of the auto stuff but if they were to add a third weapon i don't know if how many people will hear when the switch over from high dragon trial weapons to agito weapons happened but a lot of people were angry because they were like cool so this thing and back in the day high dragon trial weapons were hard to get and were also a pain in the butt because the the bosses the boss fights unless you were cheesing were extremely difficult and just like so hard to learn and then these agitos come out and they're easier and the weapons are better and you kind of go uh, cool this weapon's useless to me now so i don't know we'll see how this goes but this sounds like a pretty good update to me looking forward to it and that's all i have to say about this so thank you very much for watching everyone and once again i'm wokey and i hope that you guys have a good day Remember to leave a like if you ended up liking this video. The other two things as well. Comment. Subscribe. If you made it this far, you guys are pretty damn dedicated to whatever. So, I assumed you already left a like. So, thumbs up for me, man. And you guys have a good day and have a good night. And I'll see you guys in the next adventure. Peace out.